Another stock to look at is Tesla. Raising prices for select US models after the Biden administration expanded the number of EVs that are eligible for tax credits. Elon Musk taking to Twitter, writing this. The last three months were extremely tough. Had to save Twitter from bankruptcy while fulfilling essential Tesla and SpaceX duties. Wouldn't wish that pain on anyone. Twitter still has challenges, but it's now trending to break even if we keep at it. David Welsh joins us now from Detroit, not on Twitter, but on Tesla. David, make sense of what's happening with price cuts and then price hikes. Look, you're going to see a lot of volatility right now in vehicle pricing, which I'll explain in a second. But in the case of Tesla, I, I think guidance on the Inflation Reduction Act and what vehicles will be eligible for those incentives is playing a, a big role here. What they essentially said is SUVs, crossover SUVs, can, can now be uh, eligible for at a higher price point, they can be eligible for these full tax cuts. So I think Tesla is pushing in something there that will account for that. There's also a chance that they may have seen a lot of demand after those very steep price hikes, and the Model Y got uh, as much as 20% of a cut. So they may have seen a lot of demand and realized they could sneak a bit in there. But on the macro, okay, we saw used vehicle prices, I'm not just talking Tesla, but all vehicles, drop 15% in December. They've all of a sudden ticked up a bit in the first two weeks of January, and I think they're going to come up a bit more. So there's volatility right now. On one hand, you have high interest rates that's keeping some consumers away from buying vehicles, and you do have more availability, so maybe the pricing power isn't as strong. However, we have great jobs reports. Everybody's working. So I, I, I do think over time we'll see prices soften, but they're still near record levels, and you're just going to see kind of this up and down while automakers, including Tesla, struggle to find the sweet spot of, where, of what they can get from consumers while still keeping demand going.